Well, Robert, as you've been saying all along, second quarter GDP was expected to be pretty good, and it is. How did the numbers end up? Yeah, Susan, it was a good quarter, 4.1% uh, annualized growth. Uh, the whole series was re, uh, rejiggered by the uh, Bureau of Economic Analysis all the way back to 1929. So we see a little bit of just, just some minor differences along the way, but uh, uh, the new base year uh, has been moved up to 2012. Uh, you know, but we saw that the second quarter GDP growth rate up to 4.1%, that's about where we expected it to be. Some forecasts were quite a bit higher. Uh, could have been if inventories would have gone in a positive direction. They actually shrank a little bit in the uh, second quarter. Uh, consumer spending was strong. Business investment was strong. Federal defense spending was strong. Exports were strong. So all these subcurrents, or most of the subcurrents of GDP lined up in a good way. So we have a nice, strong second quarter. As we go into the third quarter, I think some of that momentum is going to be helpful. But I, I, I think we're going to start to see in the second half of this year growth settling back uh, closer to a near 3% trend line. That's not a bad place for this economy to be, but I don't see it picking up from here. Robert, what role did tax reform play in this? Yeah, a couple big things. Tax reform, I think, did two things. Uh, again, business investment numbers were good for two quarters in a row, first and second quarter. Consumer spending also uh, came up in the, uh, the second quarter. So I think tax reform is is a a measurable and definite positive uh, for the U.S. economy this year showing up. Uh, the other thing that we see, uh, or we can sort of intuit uh, from the report, is trade policy. And that might have actually benefited uh, second quarter GDP because the export numbers came up and there might have been some preemptive buying uh, ahead of new trade tariffs. Uh, going on there to boost the export numbers because exports added almost a full per, about a full percentage point uh, to GDP in the second quarter. Robert, let's move on here. While the GDP numbers are very good, you mentioned that home sales for June, those numbers are sobering. What did you mean by that? Home sales, both new and existing home sales came off. Uh, existing home sales just slightly, but new home sales down over 5% for the month. And when you look at the home construction numbers also, June was, June was tough uh, for housing starts. So uh, a lot of housing type of related data is pointing to this either sideways or even weakening movement in the housing market. And uh, lots of forces going on here. Uh, tax reform may be hurting uh, some of the high cost states that have high uh, local uh, property taxes. What about interest rates? Uh, how, is, how have interest rates affected home buying? Yeah, so interest rates going up, uh, it, it, you know, it drags and weighs on housing affordability. Uh, property prices going up, themselves, land prices going up, lumber prices going up in part due to uh, trade issues and also uh, labor costs going up. So the price of owning a home is, is definitely going up. And for first time home buyers, that's a pretty hefty bill sometimes. And I think it may be uh, knocking some of the first time buyers back on their heels a bit. 